television customers using your Sky ID. That may be a very British thing, but a study out today says many of us feel uncomfortable blowing our own trumpet and consequently we may be missing out on promotion at work because we don't sell ourselves. Amy Bateman is here, the confident and extrovert founder of CareerCake.com. Career yeah. <laughs> um, now, we do have a, a very different approach here in, in the UK, and we, we sort of think that Americans are, are great at this sort of thing, blowing their yeah. own trumpet and, and being out there and putting out, you know, their best assets. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I do a lot of coaching in the UK, and I also coach a lot of sort of people in America as well, and I definitely see the difference. But um, so, so, yeah, so LinkedIn have done some research. They have 15 million members in the UK and did a survey about 2,000, I think, over variety of sectors and over half of the people said that you know they feel that their modesty that British reserve has most definitely held them back in their career and I think it was two-thirds said that they felt uncomfortable networking with people and and talking about their achievements which is obviously super important when you're going for that promotion or going for that dream job especially in this market. Is it that we're shy or why do we feel so uncomfortable about that? I don't, I think, sh I think being shy is a completely different thing. I think you can be super confident but still not want to be seen as arrogant. Mm. Um, I think it's a mental, I think it's a culture thing. I think that we become, we grow up in this environment, we become products of our environment, I suppose, even if we don't want to be. But even on the way here, the cab driver was saying to me, you know, oh, well, I don't want to be seen as arrogant. The lady in the makeup room said the same thing to me. Mm -hmm. Another lady I spoke to in the corridor earlier really, said she just came back from America and because she was very British and modest, didn't want to be seen as arrogant. She well, felt that it affected her. Most people have, don't want a reputation of being, oh, they're full of themselves. Yeah, so, you don't want to be that guy no, or exactly. gal. Yeah. 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 Well, what's the sort of plan of action somebody should take into, say, a job interview or an appraise or something like that? Yeah. Because it, you do have to think of yourself as someone you're selling almost. Absolutely. I think in, in Britain, the word sales has become quite a dirty word, hasn't mm. it? So mm. I think it's just remembering that it's, it's one human being buying into another human being. So you have to think of yourself as a product. Mm. Get a plan together. Work out exactly what it is that, that you're, I suppose, that you're selling, your value, what your customer, i.e. the employer, wants to buy. Mm. Um, and surround yourself with really good people. You know, we all know people in our lives that, that think that we're fab. We all have those people, I call them lighters. But they're usually in your family and then you don't believe them because you think they don't, they don't count. Well, I actually think that if you can... I think more people in our working environment tell us good things, but we forget about it. So mm. you might get an email from a colleague going, do you know what, thanks for that. Yeah. Or you might get that email from a customer going, do you know what, you listened yesterday, you solved a problem. So if you can collect all of this stuff, almost sort of, even if nobody ever reads it apart from you, over the years, and then just go back and have a look at it when you're having those, those down days. Yeah. And also, my last biggest advice is remember why you're doing it so why are you going for that promotion will it mean that your team will be able to better themselves why are you going for that dream job will it impact your family life so if we can be sell ourselves but still keep our British way and think about who we're doing it for but we can't can we ever go too far can we ever be you can too so, confident I or? think so but I think we all need to use our own emotional intelligence there really and yeah well thank you very much we've got our appraisals coming up so we'll take all of those <laughs> points on board we'll make lists as we speak <laughs> right. hope you're taking notes Amy thank you very much